Hi, I think my speech uh, relatively bad. It's going in and out. Uh, 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 I'm going to talk about dysarthria, which is the name for it. It's spelled D Y S A R T H R I A. Now, I have intermittent dysarthria, which means it's intermittent. It goes on and off. So sometimes my speech is normal. Um, other time it, like this or worse, sometime I can't speak at all. Sometime um, in order to speak I have to push my vocal cords and it sounds like I'm yelling. Well actually I am yelling. Uh, I'm not meaning to yell, I'm trying to speak. Uh, now, what causes this area? Uh, a stroke, a brain injury, um, I could have had um, a stroke. We we don't know. We thought we thought I did. Um, they said um, I didn't after a, a test was changed. Um, um, and other brain brain injury. Um, they say no brain injury there either. Well, my whole body's damaged repeatedly, and the speech as well. There's brain damage. The stonius dyskinesias don't show up on. Uh, on uh, any diagnostics made by humans yet. That's how far advanced we are. Um, okay, the muscles around the mouth and face and respiratory system may become weak as well, which mine are, and the trunk of my body is weak. I even have trouble sitting up. Move slowly or not move at all. The resulting speech condition is called this area. Now this is a very depends on which area of the nervous system is affected, and, and I, I don't have any idea which what part um, got damaged and from the extensive damage I have I have been given no no answers and no real um, um, like extensive testing I'm still being denied so um, um, we're working on that um, okay now a person with this area may experience any or the following symptoms depending on the extent and the location of the damage to the nervous system. Now that's interesting. Where is the, the damage to the central nervous system? I already had a, have a disease of the central nervous system, myalgic encephalomediitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome, is erroneously called as well. Okay, so some of the uh, symptoms are a slurred speech, speaking softly or barely able to whisper, slow rate of speech, rapid rate of speech with a mumbling quality. My mom says I, I do that frequently. I don't know how much is her not having hearing problems and how much is me mumbling, but I'm becoming more aware of the fact that I am doing it. Um, limited tongue, lip, and jaw movement, abnormal intonation, rhythm when speaking, changes in vocal quality, hoarseness, Breathiness, drooling, or poor control of saliva. For the first five months, um, I could barely hold food in my mouth. The, the damage around my, my muscles around my mouth were damaged so badly it would drool outside. So would saliva. Now that continued. Uh, it improved, but it, it, it continued for several years. The, the um, drooling sometimes uh, still will, but uh, uh, not like I did um, in the beginning. Um, the chewing and which was totally ignored, by the way, um, by those in, involved healthcare professionals. Um, and chewing and swallowing difficulty. Now that can be dangerous because you obviously you can choke on something. Now I I sometimes have had trouble swallowing, um, but it not uh, it's, it hasn't been a big issue for me. For people with very, really um, extreme dysphoria that can't speak at all most of the time, um, it, um, it it's 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 it's, it can be, it's very serious, obviously. Now it can be caused by many different conditions. Okay, stroke, brain injury, tumors, cerebral palsy. Uh, Parkinson's disease. Um, I wonder about Parkinsonium, which is drug-induced, because I have that as well. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. Huntington's disease, and multiple sclerosis. Now, the treatment depends on the cause and type and severity of the symptoms. A speech-language pathologist uh, works with the individual, as supposed to. 
to improve communication abilities. Goals may include slowing the rate of speech, improving breath support so the person can speak more loudly, which to me I find hilarious because, um, as I said, often I have to push my voice muscles in order to speak and I'm yelling. I'm not meaning to yell, but I'm yelling and it drives my mother uh, batty, I'll tell you. Okay, muscle strengthening exercises. Nobody, I've, I've had none of this, okay? Increasing mouth, tongue, and lip movement or improving articulation so that speech is more clear. The um, therapist can also help the person's caregiver or family to learn to adapt the environment so they can understand the person better and teach compensatory strategies that will enhance communication. In cases of severe dysphoria, it may be impossible for this person to speak intelligibly and an alternative means of communication may be needed. Now, I, I've seen this, there's somebody um, um, in the same city that I, I have and um, he, well, I believe he works for OCAP and uh, um, he has severe uh, dysphoria and he has somebody that helps communicate with him. So some of these are um, um, that help is uh, using simple gestures or alphabet boards or sophisticated electronic or computer-based equipment. Um, now um, I have gestures uh, that uh, I make uh, a lot of time if I'm talking and um, uh, say my mother will just keep going on and expecting. Uh, me to reply and she thinks I'm ignoring her, I have to go, uh, I can't, I can't speak, it's not, not coming out or sometimes I do try and it, it comes out bleh um, and uh, it's, a, it's a bit embarrassing, not when it happens here, I do have one recorded because um, I sound like a uh, sounds like a, a sheep. Uh, some of the noises you make are um, very uh, very strange. Um, now, also the equipment that um, that they uh, I've been denied um, any uh, equipment, and uh, I was also told um, uh, I was told I had intermittent this area informally, uh, not on the records, medical records, and I was turned down any help, uh, any uh, therapist or uh, speech therapist, um, um, they, uh, because my damage wasn't, uh, the extensive uh, brain and muscle ligament damage, all my damage wasn't on my records and they didn't recognize my illnesses either, uh, myalgic encephalomania uh, and aka CFS and uh, fibromyalgia which um, I found out after was uh, infuriating. Um, I had to get my own, I got my own Dragon speech software um, because um, what the government does here is um, if you, you pass, so I went to another place and I did pass the test by controlling the tone of my voice by lowering it. Now um, the other, the rehab place said that if I did that um, I would be damaging my voice muscles. I can't do it all the time. I don't know how long I can do it and the worse my voice is um, um, the, the harder it is to do. Um, now radio announcers do this. I used to um, direct uh, um, uh, voiceovers and um, I also used to sing in choirs where we controlled our, our voices for, for singing. You know, hey, if I go up a tone, this is my natural level and they're my sound clicking back. Uh, well, not so good sound clicking back in. Now, um, what I don't understand, and they never explained to me any of this, and uh, if, if the, I had nobody had ever given me, um, uh, I was told that um, I had this area, I had intermittent um, by somebody at rehab turning me down for any help or any equipment for the computer. I had to look it up online to find out what it was when I got the letter. They put the, they put in a letter, has intermittent dysteria. That is all 
that I got. So there's a short on on dysteria, and um, a lot of people say uh, when I say, "Oh, sometimes I can't speak at all, or I have trouble speaking," and then they talk to me on the phone, and I sound fine, and they say, "Well, you sound fine now." Well, it's called intermittent dysteria.